Oh, it's arcade. Yes. I'm like, I fired all my rockets. Jesus is a good looking no. custom camo. I would love to see the, uh, the B52 Uh, I'd like to see a meta for bombers be added uh, into the game. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and I had a great time with the boys from Murat's server uh, in the Scottish Koalas community doing this thing for his birthday. Uh, I'm like naturally a pretty a pretty private person. I, I, that's not really the word, right? But I try to keep my my social interactions simple. But I had so much fun. I'd love to do more community events like this. It was a total blast. So I'll probably be jumping on more things as the opportunity arises. And uh, <laughs> it's just a fun group of people. I'd like to do more videos where I'm just screwing around. But today... I'm going to take a look at the P-80 because that is a jet that I've had a lot of fun in recently and it's kind of hard to explain why. To make a long story short, I've had a lot of fun in mixed battles with this airplane. At 7.7 uh, seven, seven up tiers, it can be a little bit tough. I've even encountered 8.0 even uh, with my 7.0 lineup and you'll get about uh, at least one in four matches at 8.0 and you can be afraid of that top tier AA where you can learn to deal with it uh, but if you do everything right and the cards fall in the right places the P80 can be a total blast to play and you can have just enough impact on the ground battle to feel like you're contributing now here is one of my earlier matches where I did a little bit or I got pressed, I should say, <laughs> into a little bit of defensive flying against an ME-262. And with those four 30 mils, uh, it can do some terrible damage very quickly. So I definitely don't want his nose to line up with any part of my plane. Here we're trying to dodge him. And, uh, you know, I still don't have a good feel for the P-80. It's one of those planes that... It seems to have something of a learning curve. It's a very, very accessible jet. Let me put it that way. But at 7.0, you're going to face some pretty stiff competition. And uh, he takes off most of our wing. But look at this. Uh, here's a tribute to uh, learning some rudder controls. And the flight model of the P-80. Uh, she's a pretty strong jet. And we managed to bring her in hot. And get our pilot safely to the ground. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think that's going to buff out. <laughs> this airframe's done for this battle. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one. So this isn't the first time that I've played the P-80. Even if it looks like it. <laughs> and I managed to grind out a few modules earlier. Uh, but this was back when 50 cals were weaker than they are now. And in a jet, you really miss... Uh, that firepower. The M2 Browning 50 cal that the P80 has, or the, yeah, the P80, the F80 gets the M3, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, the M2 Browning 50 cal starts to feel underpowered in jet matches because you just have a brief split second of opportunity, and uh, so because I want to reinvigorate my love for this vehicle, I slapped on a custom camo that I found on Live.WarThunder. Later on, I'm going to get around to making my Saya themed anime camo, and you'll see some videos with that, and I really like the look of it. I used someone else's camo as a base, and then radically altered it, and made it my own, as it were. And because I haven't heard back from that guy, I'm not sharing the camo on Live yet, but it gets to be my own personal treasure. Anyway, uh, let's see some more gameplay footage. And while you feast your eyes on the beauty that is the P-80, I'll just talk about how it performs in the game right now and try and explain why I've been having so much fun with it. So for one, in Air RB matches, it performs very well at a 7.0, but like all 7.0 planes, it struggles against higher tier aircraft that it can encounter fairly frequently. 
So this is nothing new to jet pilots. It's something that we've been dealing with for a long time, and it's one of the reasons that I don't generally fly jets all that often. However, there is no substitute for the Jet Air RB gameplay style. Uh, there's really nothing like it. And at 7.0, when you have to face an 8.0, even things like the ME163, you can deal with. There are strategies for dealing with them. And at certain speeds, you can outturn them. So that's not so bad. But against things like the G91, good luck. <laughs> you really would have to have uh, good team support or some some favorable circumstances in order to pull through with that. But that's the way it is with all jet aircraft. And look at this beautiful custom camouflage. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> that's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. <laughs> anyway. The P-80 was reasonably fun in Air RB, but I got a little bit tired of getting into up tiers against 8.0 jets. It's just one of those things that I don't enjoy all that much. The P-80 is a lot of fun at 7.0, not so much at 8.0, but it, you don't get struggle. You don't get sorry, bad phrasing. You don't get frustrated with the aircraft itself. At least I didn't. It performs reasonably well. The guns, you could wish for a little bit more firepower, but that's the way it is with every jet. You always want more. Uh, but it's a great learner. This is a wonderful aircraft to ease your way in to jet combat with. It's reliable, it's consistent, it's smooth, it's forgiving. It has a good top speed for a jet, which is very important, and decent acceleration. And you can spray the guns for days and not run out of ammunition. So that can be very helpful for a beginner as well. Also very helpful in ground battles. It's good in defensive flying. All around, it's one of those jets that's just nicely balanced and is a lot of fun to fly against other pilots of similar aircraft. It's a lot of fun to fly against the 262. Uh, here you see me doing some defensive against a 163, which, you know, it's doable because the 163 has limited ammo, low velocity rounds, even though he can outperform me severely in vertical maneuvers. I can have a lot of fun flying against those kinds of aircraft. Against early MiGs, uh, it pairs up nicely and MiGs tend to have a little bit better defensive flying, which they start to rely on, but you can outspeed them, and if you maintain your energy, you can outfly a MiG, and you have plenty of chances to keep making attack runs with your 50 cals until you score a critical hit. But, as I mentioned, it keeps coming back again and again, you're going to get up tiered a good half of your matches, if not more, because of the popularity of 8.0 aircraft, such as the G91, and you're going to suffer. <laughs> you're going to suffer real hard against those aircraft. The nice thing is you don't face 9.0, which if you thought the 8.0 up tier was bad, in an 8.0 against a 9.0, it's even worse. Especially since the people who are really committed to jet-on-jet -jet combat tend to fly the top-tier jets for obvious reasons. Now, looking at ground strike, looking at mixed battles, this is where I've had absolute joy in the P-80 consistently. The P-80 is almost like bad team insurance because of the performance characteristics of this aircraft with rockets you can score kills on soft targets and sometimes take out even heavy tanks such as the Tiger II H which you will see fairly frequently and when you do take down a ground target your team always appreciates it you can spot for days with your 50 cals which at a 7.0 8.0 BR is even more helpful than it is at low tier. 
you can take down enemy aircraft with great efficiency you have the ability to exit the theater of battle rapidly now why is that useful if you're if you keep your speed up above 450 miles per hour in the p80 in mixed battles that's tank rb or sim if you're into that not so much myself but i can see it anyway if you keep your speed high you can pop into the battlefield when you're needed where you're needed and then leave quickly why do you want to do that why do you want to stay low stay fast and not fly in a straight line for more than half a second top tier aa at 7.0 you're going to get into 8.0 matches and just like 8.0 jets you're going to face opponents that are nigh impossible for you to deal with one-on-one -on -one. unlike in jet battles they can't chase you down because of what I'm talking about is top tier AA they move significantly slower than 450 miles per hour is that a surprise to anyone not to me so I was intimidated by this idea of radar guided AA but after using the M163 American uh, top tier AA for a while I realized that that arcade indicator is not the only thing you need to take down enemy jets what you really need is to be able to be in the position to fire at them and that's where this strategy comes in now this would work with every aircraft against top tier AA but because the PE 80 has such good mobility and sits at a 7.0 where you don't always face them this strategy works even better and watch the Christmas lights here as I go after this BV uh, this is just crazy <laughs> I love it whenever I see the BV 238 in high tier matches it just brings a smile to my face it's one of those things that this is what the BV-238 is for. I mean, look at this. Uh, how many times do you see a jet versus massive float plane bomber? Just uh, only in War Thunder, am I right? So back to P-80 strategy. Keep your speed high. Pay attention to the map. You're in a support role as the P-80, and your job is air dominance you take down everything that flies on the enemy team stay low keep your speed high and you can zoom up to rip out the belly of anyone who doesn't notice you use your stealth and mobility to pounce on the enemy from ambush I recommend flying at low altitude most of the time uh, when you need to spot targets and you're not in an 8.0 it's sometimes safe to gain some altitude and take a look at the battlefield but you want to ditch your ordinance and engage in air to air combat as quickly as possible be aware of what's going on on the ground be aware of what's going on in the sky this is one of those aircraft that you really have to focus on paying attention to your surroundings in addition when you do get into air to air engagements the dogfighting, such as it is, can be fun, engaging, thrilling, and because you have so many things going on around you at the same time, it's never the same uh, one time to another, unless you fly like a bonehead, and then you keep running into the same wall. <laughs> I'm talking about that from experience. So, that's been just sort of a summary of my experience in the P-80 again I've had a total blast in this aircraft and one of the reasons is I've been working on this custom camouflage and it looks really nice very pleasing to the eye and a little bit of eye candy goes a long way in this game for me kudos to the multiple live.warthunder creators who have submitted things that I've cannibalized for this custom camo <laughs> and, and again I'm using some concepts that other people came up with here and a lot of copyrighted content so it's not like it's not like this is me showing off you know my artistic skills but I, I'm like an arranger I take things that I like and I put them where they uh, where they look nice and here I actually pulled off a strafing run on a shilka and survived I saw that he was engaging another teammate. I knew where his position was. 
I actually managed to take out his gunner with that pass and then I got the heck out of there <laughs> because I have no desire to end up on the wrong side of those 23 millimeter sewing machine needles. As for my matches in the P80, they've been a joy. Like I said, it's bad team insurance because you have independence in this fighter. You can contribute a bit to your team and if things don't go well, you can exit the theater rapidly, come back to base, reload, rearm, reorganize, find a new strategy, get some new targets. Very few times do you feel totally helpless in this aircraft and it really comes down to speed. As a flyer of American aircraft, I've fallen in love with superior speed and boy can you experience that often in the P-80 and what a pretty package to carry that along with. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, it took a long time to make this one even though it's not very good. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.